how to generate 3D animated videos with the help of a free tool. And now, what you can produce as an end result of this animation is something like this. Free has visited Jurassic Park to see whether the dinosaurs really exist or not. Oops, am I hearing a sound of a dinosaur? Oh my god, run, run, run! Create this. All of this is done using a free tool as I've already said and that tool is none other than Microsoft PowerPoint and you need no technical expertise whatsoever. It's very easy to do. It's like click click drag drop and boom you are done with it. If that sounds interesting to you then please stick on with me till the end of this tutorial because this is going to be a scene by scene tutorial where I'm going to show you every detail of how you can implement a brand new 3D cartoon animated videos with the help of Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, so welcome to the step one which is actually using PowerPoint so you just need to install PowerPoint if you don't have it already and then you just need to go ahead and open a blank presentation now once your presentation is loaded you just make, need to make sure that it's absolutely blank so what I'll do is that I'll delete all the blocks that are available currently right so as I said it will be a step-by-step -step tutorial so please consider following this tutorial till the end because if you skip any part of it you might end up not producing the kind of results that you want to right with that being said let's jump in so the first step that you need to do is build up a scene now for this what I suggest you to do is that you can either develop a story of your own if you are a good copywriter you can go ahead and do that or you can use another free tool which is called chat gpt you can just log inside of that say for example write a story of a jungle and a dinosaur i've just given it a random prompt you can go ahead and give it a more suggested prompt so that it can go ahead and generate a story as you can see it has been generating a story right so that is the first part of it that is getting the storyboard done right once you have got the story in your mind you need to go ahead again back to microsoft powerpoint and in here we are going to build the scenes for it right so first thing that i need is a scene so since my story is based on a jungle and a dinosaur my scene would be ideally a jungle right so for that what we can do is that we just need to head over to this insert over here click on that and in here go over to pictures click on that and then go over to online pictures just click on that and in here you can search for something called jungle just hit on enter and boom you can see there are so many pictures coming up now you can go ahead and actually use any and any of them right you are free to use any of the pictures that you like or what you can do is that you can just go ahead and actually click on any of them and then click on insert and boom it would insert it right or you can again go back to pictures and go over to stock images click on that and in here you can also search for jungle now the stock images are more kind of quality images because these are already in use by microsoft powerpoint and you can find your related picture from here as well right so that's quite cool now that being said there is also another option in which you can do stuff that is if you already have your picture selected that is if you have downloaded it from anywhere let's say for example pixabay pixels or if you have created it using the current ai tools like mid journey or anything like that you can go ahead and straight away upload it into your microsoft powerpoint as well so so for that what we want to do is that we want to make it a background picture right so for that what we will do is that we'll head over to this design part over here right and in here you can find an option called format background as you can see over here just click on that and that will actually open up this sidebar over here and in here you just need to select picture or text field click on that and you can see it has already filled it up with a picture and text field but i don't want this i want my own picture in here right so what i'll do is that i'll just head over to this insert click on that and in here i can actually browse it from a file or in here also i can actually use the stock images or the online images that i had shown you previously with that being said let's go ahead and select it from a file so in here i have something called jungle with car as you can see i also have hospital background so depending on what you are trying to portray you need to use that as a background right so just select that and hit on insert and within a few moments boom there you go so it's very easy to do right as you saw and you just need to follow me step by step and boom you'll be done so this was our background it looks amazing and it looks quite natural right now that first step is done now we need to head over to our second step which is actually inserting characters and building up the scene we have just built up the background now we need to insert the characters in here right so for that what we need to do is again head over to insert and in here we just need to find this 3d models click on that and then select stock 3d models now this will actually load there are plenty of models out there so you can see you can go for toys you can go for anatomy chemistry emojis you can go for education you can go for animals clothing or what not everything is covered right there is electronics and gadgets as well so you can find anything and everything that you want to but for this example i'm going to create something on a dinosaur 
and an alien right so what we'll do is that we'll just head over to this all animated models just click on that and in here you can see this little symbol over here this suggests that these models are animated right so wherever you find these models they would be having some actions they can run or they can maybe flap their wings whatever it can be but they have some actions right so with that being said let us go ahead and find an alien so if you scroll down there is the alien that we had used right so we can just go ahead and select that and click on insert now as you can see it has been inserted over here and it has a nice little dancing kind of animation to it so what we need to do is that we need to just reposition it so that it seems that it is on the ground right so it looks quite good right now we can also adjust the size and the position of it wherever we want to however we want to we can do that we can make it a thinner one as well so everything is possible right as you can see over here now the best part over here is that there is this symbol over here which actually allows you to rotate the 3d object you can just click on that and you can see over here i can actually go ahead and rotate it in whatever direction i want to so that's all in my hands with that being said um, that is how you want to insert any kind of character you can go ahead and insert any of them i have used uh, alien you can use uh, any 3d model to do this right so with that being said now this is done right so on the next scene what happens is that a dinosaur comes in right this guy is there the jungle is there the dinosaur will make an entry so what we'll do is that we'll just head over to our slide right click on that and click on duplicate slide so what this will do is that this will load this slide automatically as our next slide right now in here i need a dinosaur so what i'll do is that i'll just head over to this insert again and in here i'll go for 3d models click on that and again stop 3d models again all animated models and from here i am going to find the dinosaur let me do that so there you go there is the dinosaur so we can click on that and click on insert and boom you can see the dinosaur has been inserted right but it's coming straight but in our example we had it coming from left of screen right so what we can do is that we can just drag it over here take it to the left of screen just like this and then we can actually redirect it towards this alien right so that's how it works that's how simple it is but one thing is that this is currently in the scene so what we want to do is that it should appear from out of the scene because it wasn't there on the first scene that would kind of make it more natural right so now the dinosaur is out of the scene so now is our third step which is actually animating the stuffs right so for this what we want is that this dinosaur should actually run up to this alien right so what we will do is that we'll select the dinosaur over here and then we will go over to animations as you can see over here click on that and then we just need to head over to this add animation again click on that and in here we can find a thing which is called lines right this is under motion paths this you can find in all latest version of microsoft powerpoint and this is a very very powerful feature with which you can animate anything and everything with that being said we just need to click on this lines and now if we actually go over and find the dinosaur over here you can see if you watch it closely let me show you a couple of things just watch it closely over here if i actually turn on the spotlight here you can find there is a little green dot and in here there is a red dot the green dot means starting point and the red dot means ending point right so what we can do is that we can just drag this ending point and as you can see there is a dotted line that comes up and then if we actually drag it inside the canvas just like this up to this point maybe then what happens as you can see is that this dinosaur would come from here to this point right so we can adjust this point as well we can make it shorter we can make it longer that's up to us so we can keep it somewhere around here maybe and now if we actually take a preview let us do that so as you can see the alien is dancing and there is the dinosaur coming up right so the two things now that we need to change is that the dinosaur came a little too late right so we need it to come early first of all and we need the dinosaur to come a little slowly as well right so for that again we'll select the dinosaur and then this time we'll head over to this pane over here which is called the animation controlling pane right and in here we can do certain things like when the animation is going to start we are going to make it with previous that means whenever the slide loads the animation will start right and then in here we can set up the duration we are going to actually set up the duration as maybe three seconds so it will actually take three seconds from this point to this point right 
So now if we make a preview, you can see this time the dinosaur is coming up straight away, right? So quite cool. With that being said, um, as you can see, the dinosaur is actually coming too close to comfort for this guy, right? So what we need to do, we need to make a little space over here. So again, we can just drag this red point over here and make it a little shorter just like this so that there is enough space between this subject over here and the dinosaur again if we play on preview so this time you can see the dinosaur never touches the alien because if it touches the alien it should eat up the alien right so that's the concept over here we should keep that distance or otherwise we could have actually moved this guy as well that's up to us with that being said now that we have been able to do the stuff on the third scene we want the alien to actually make an exit and the dinosaur to chase him down right so what we're going to do is that we are going to actually duplicate this slide. So go ahead and click on duplicate. So as you can see, the slide has been duplicated. Now in this slide, so far we haven't worked anything over here. So this would be the same as we had on the second slide, right? Now on this third slide, what we want is that the dinosaur should have its starting point where it ended. That is over here. And this alien should make an exit from the scene, right? So first of all, let us actually... Uh, reposition the dinosaur so we can click on that and we can actually bring in the dinosaur over here so that the start point coincides with its end right so now as you can see that the starting point of the dinosaur is quite close to the alien and this is the ending point of the dinosaur right so we want this ending point to be actually out of the scene as well so we can drag it just like this and make it out of the scene just make it a little larger so that everything exits from the screen right and then on the second part, we are going to actually select the alien out here. That is this one. And maybe we can position it a little away from the dinosaur like this, right? And what we are going to do is that we are going to add a motion to it as well outside of the screen. So for that, again, we will just select this alien, go over to this add animation. And again, we'll scroll down and find something called motion paths. As you can see over here, you can just click on that. And again, as we had seen with the dinosaur as well, there is a motion path with a starting point and an ending point. So what we can do is that we can actually have the ending point out of the scene like this, right? So now actually we are not done yet. If we play this, let us take a preview and let me explain you why we are not done. So if we click on preview, you can see the dinosaur runs away faster and then this guy runs away. That is not the scene that we want. We want this guy to actually go away. Then the dinosaur to follow that guy, right? The dinosaur should chase the guy. So for that, what we need to do is that we need to come over to this stuff over here called animation pane, which actually allows us to reorder the animations, right? So we can just go ahead and click on animation pane. And as you can see, it has loaded over here. And now, as you can see over here, this is the 3D model, which is the alien, and it starts at the late last position, right? So what we want is that we want it to start at the very first position, just like this. And then we can click on this arrow over here, and then we can make it start with previous. That means whenever the slide loads, this guy will first of all run away. That's quite natural. He has seen a dinosaur, right? So with that being said, just make it start with previous. And then again, click on that and go over to effect options. Just click on that. And in here, you can go for timing and you want to make it something like maybe three seconds, right? And click on OK. So now that we have done it, we can preview the scene and let us see how it happens, right? So there you go. But the dinosaur is still running quite faster, right? So what we can do is that again, we can select the dinosaur and do the same thing with the dinosaur, right? We can just go ahead with the dinosaur, click on this option over here, and then we can go over to effect option and we can go over to timing option and we can make it five seconds. So this will maintain a distance between two, right? So once this is done, we can click on OK. And now if we preview the scene, so there you see, we just need to make a little more adjustment because the dinosaur is really quite fast. So what we can do is that we can make, we can give this 3D model a timing of two seconds maybe. So you can directly go over to timing and then make it two seconds or you can even make it one second. So these are adjustments you need to play with to make sure that you get the best results, right? And once done, you can again play it on preview. And this time, as you can see, it gives us a perfect result, right? So that's how it works. And basically, you need to just play around with these timings to get a better results with that. With that being said, now that you have done all the basic things right, it's just time to give it a more kind of thing like you have seen a few birds flying and all the stuff within my 
uh, video that we had so for that we'll head over to the first slide over here and again we can go over to insert again we can go over to this 3d models again we can go over to stock 3d models and in here we can go ahead and choose anything and everything say for example we can select this honeybee as well we can select this bird as well just click on this bird click on insert and boom you can see it has been inserted now again we are going to actually take it out of the screen so let us do that so there we go out of the screen it goes right and now we want to change the direction of the bird as well we can do that by doing simple this thing right so it's very much doable you can again change the size of the bird by actually decreasing the size over here and then what you can do is that we can give it an animation so for that we'll select the bird we'll head over to animations and in here we will click on add animations and again this time we will go over to this motion paths and we can actually give it a brand new motion path which is called custom path now what this does is that it allows you to draw the path with your mouse cursor just like this right and you can actually make it exit anywhere you want to so once you have done that you can see the bird flying away now the bird flew away rather quicker so again we can do over here we can just come over here and we can make it start with previous so that it starts right when the slide loads and then we can again go ahead to the timing and we can make it a little slow once we have done this we can click on ok and then we can see that the bird is flying really slowly right so that's how it can be done right you can insert any number of birds over here any number of animals over here anything that you basically want to right so now that we have done everything now it's time for us to show you how you can add sounds to it right you have heard my own recording over here and you have also heard the background sounds over here as well so for the recordings all that you need to do is go over to insert again and in here you just need to come over to this audio and in here you can click on record audio just click on that and what that will do is that it will allow you to record your own voice you can just click on this uh, red button here to start your recording and then whatever you speak would be recorded right and once it is done you can just click on stop and then you can click on ok and boom you can see that the sound has come over now we just need to make the sound out of the slide because we don't want to show people this icon so we will just remove it from the slide and boom it would be added as sound right now in this way you can go ahead and add your narrations you can go ahead and add your voiceovers anything and everything you want to for the background music and all the stuff you can find them from different sources like epidemic sound you can find it if you are using any video editor like filmora you can find it as well all that you can do is come over to here go over to audio and in here you can go for audio on my pc and from here you can just go over like this and you can go on to download as you can see i have some downloads over here say for example this dinosaur sound i can click on insert and boom it would be inserted on the slide as well whenever the slide loads it would play and you would be able to hear the sound so that's how cool it is and once you have done everything all that you need to do is come over to this file head over to export and from here you just need to click on create a video select your resolution and click on create video and boom your video would be created right so that being said i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this little video on how you can actually create 3d animated videos with the help of powerpoint for absolutely free of cost if you have loved the content then please consider liking this video and if you're new to this channel then please consider subscribing to this channel and hit on the bell notification icon to get notified whenever i put out any new videos on how you can make money online with that being said this is your good friend shan with good life from nk academy do keep learning keep hustling and keep making money online signing off is shan from nk academy take care bye bye